two, one. Hello, everybody. You don't know where we are. We are in Mongolia. We are in uh, Ulan Bator, and we are with a great friend called Michel Golio. And I'm so happy, so happy we are finally in touch. How are you, Michel? Hello, Naomi. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you for having me in your interviews. No, thank you to you and thank you for the time too because it's so late for you. And we're so happy to have you in the marathon. It's called Quantum Marathon 3000 because we really want to change things in education okay. and with education is a society and is a society in the planet and the whole humanity because we need those changes. Welcome. <laughs> How uh, are you this year? How was Victoria? It's pretty good. Everything is very well. We're handling the coronavirus 19 very well. So um, we're pretty good. I, I heard you had almost no, no cases. I heard you handled the situation very well. Yeah, inside Mongolia, there's no cases yet. But from outside, there are um, people who were in foreign countries. They're uh, having coronavirus and then uh, uh, they're coming from uh, all over the world to Mongolia and getting treatment in Mongolia. So, so far we have 314 uh, COVID cases in Mongolia. They're all delivered from outside. So I, we don't have um, cases uh, from inside Mongolia, which is wow, very wow, good wow. right I now. think Mongolian people are so strong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that, but I, I try to believe that. <laughs> the people who are treated, they, they are well now, they all recovered? Yeah, very well now. So I think I've heard on the news, it was like only 12 active cases in the hospital right now, and rest of them are treated and already uh, went out of the wow. hospital. Wow, impressive. Congratulations. Yeah, we're dealing with it very well. Uh-huh. Michelle, you have so many questions about education and Mongolia and your views because I know you have your daughter, Nomin. Okay. This is the same yes. name as mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, um, I know you have great ideas for her. You you I, I love the way you see education. Would you like to share mm. with us your views? For instance, what do you want for your daughter exactly? How old she is and what kind of, ed of education do you wish sure. for her? Sure, sure. Uh, my uh, daughter's name is Nomi. So she's six years old right now. She just started school and she's learning Mongolian and English at the same time. So um, hopefully she can finish her school, I mean, finish her English learning soon and start her next language. What I wish for my daughter is to have her uh, as many languages as she can learn. And um, another dream that uh, my daughter and both want is to uh, travel around the world. If, if possible, like the, when the coronavirus is down. So we, I want her to travel around, see all the uh, um, country's culture and all the languages that she can touch on. And that's my wish for my daughter. In the future, it's a very developing, very fast paced um, education is in the world. So I want her to have more than five languages. I want, or, <laughs> like I, I, I wish for her that she want to keep her, like um, her humanitarian mindset in her and also wanted to uh, learn from the cultures. So um, the most thing that I want for her is that uh, she should have uh, the humanitarian mindset for her. Beautiful, so beautiful. Very helpful, they has to, she has beautiful. to help with pe help for people and she has to be very kind to people. Also, she has to have a lot of respect to the, all the cultures. So the differences of the people as, as well. So that's my wish for my daughter. Besides all those uh, technical and also all those uh, linguistic skills. So she has to have that <laughs> in her mind. So that's my wish for my daughter. <laughs> She's so lucky to have you. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying my best to yeah set her mind. I'm trying to I'm trying my best to uh, fix her environment where she is learning. So she's going to uh, private school right now, and uh, I'm trying to uh, start her with the uh, make her start with the better environment, better people, better teacher, better education. So that's my goal. Beautiful. I have a personal question, Michelle. Your English is so good. Did you <laughs> study in the state, did you? Yes, I did. Uh, so uh, I studied in the uh, United States uh, University of Alaska Anchorage for four and a half years there. So I got my bachelor's degree from there, uh, social work and social work uh, major. And uh, I studied in Los Angeles, California, for two and a half years before Alaska. So um, that's my all years that I spent. Mm -hmm. And I think my English studies for seven years, I guess I've, I've studied English here. So I work in a company where people speak English in Mongolia too. So uh, my English is pretty well practiced and pretty well <laughs> daily. So your daughter is bilingual pretty soon. Yeah, uh, I'm really hoping that that her English is right now. Her English is good too, so she understands what I'm saying. So um, I only have to uh, have her with the systematic English and in school. So actually, the best speak. age for languages is from zero to ten, so she can yeah. have so many languages. I think you are absolutely yeah. right. Michelle, Before she hits, question. then hoping her to have more language. <laughs> <laughs> what about education after this year? What do you think uh, we will have um, some change with education? What are your views on education for 2021, for instance? What people are going 2021? to 2021? Yeah, for next year. Mm. What's going to happen? I don't know. It seems like world is based on more on online based trainings online based things and people are just uh, being like reliable on the technology so um, I'm not sure but my guess would be that people uh, trying to trust on the uh, online schools online trainings there's no I don't see any like official homeschooling in Mongolia, but this might start because of the, uh, the coronavirus. People will think about uh, letting their kids study at home, study online, and um, which is, I think it's good for Mongolia to connect with the other world. So uh, tech-based study is always better for us to learn from uh, global education so that's my thought what about the parents what would you recommend to the parents for the their own development and for the the, the education of the kids what would you recommend to them i mean when i grew up my mom would just always say like be thoughtful, thoughtful, and have a higher education as you can and stuff. But right now, I would say kids are learning from all over the world right now from um, like watching YouTube channels, watching all kind of TV channels and stuff. So uh, kids are learning from there and then kind of like developing their skills and thinking about the worldwide things. And um, I would say that kids are starting uh, to think bigger right now. So uh, I would recommend uh, the, for the parents that they should not restrict what they're trying to learn. They should not um, be like really overlooking <laughs> parents that, uh, I mean, that's my personal skill that I try not to uh, restrict my kids to uh, talk about things, think about things, watch things on YouTube, as long as, as, long as it's on their age thing. So, so I don't uh, restrict her to learn from um, uh, online things. So uh, I would say work with your kids more, 
watch her environment, create her environment, I would say, um, like better environment, clean environment and uh, clear mindset for them. And uh, make your kids dream bigger. <laughs> That's what I would say, like not for only in Mongolia, um, that you should do good thing for Mongolia, you should work for Mongolia, you should do that, that, that. I would not say that. I would say like, you can change the world. You can start working from uh, uh, right now. Like looking start, you can start working to think about big right now. So that's my, my recommendation would be for my kids, uh, for, for the uh, families and parents. You know, we have in the marathon, many people from South America. And there is a lot of mm. question about Mongolian culture, Mongolian, Mongolian, Mongolian ethic. What, what we, we want to know a little bit more about your country. Do you want to share with us the, the culture and the way of life? Yeah. Um, I don't know what to say. It's all on the online. So if you want to Google about Mongolia and there's uh, the, it's the map. The same. It's not the same. <laughs> not yeah, uh, we do um, have, uh, uh, I would say the difference from the world is that we call it as nomads. My family is nomads. They do have uh, animals, uh, sheep goats, cows, camels, and, uh, and horses. So I'm a, uh, I'm a, when I was a younger, so I was a good horse racer. <laughs> so uh, we like, we eat a lot of meat, <laughs> beef, lamb, and we eat horse meat too, <laughs> only during winter time. Um, yeah. So differences, I guess the difference from world is the others are just all in the town. Like we do have a, a European culture hit in us and we do uh, have like, we border with Russia and China. So we pretty much adopt from their culture and their food and their everything is uh, very well known to Mongolians. But besides that, the only uh, difference is that we are nomads. We um, the nomads move a lot, move around a lot. So uh, where the grasses are higher, the nomads are there to feed the animals. And mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty lucky that most of the nomads keep go uh, become nomads. But I'm the one of the lucky one uh, got a chance to go to America and study English and have uh, education from states. So. Um, Cultural differences, something like that, I could say right now, I can think of right now. But other than that, um, I don't know. Your, <laughs> life, are all, your all life is online. pretty amazing. And the life of your parents and the sisters, it's a, you could make a book. Yeah, very, uh, we're very like, parents. Is, yeah, mm -hmm. we're very like, um, how do you say, uh, we respect each other each other a lot. So even it's uh, like one year old, we call them like sisters, and we respect them, and we are uh, very uh, close to our parents. Even though we are just uh, individuals, and we're uh, we got married and then uh, become like individual parents, we still go back to our parents. Mm -hmm. uh, couple times a year to meet them, to greet them, to ask their, how they're doing and stuff. And uh, when they're uh, sick or not feeling well, we always have to go back to our parents and mm -hmm. things like that. We are very respectful to our elders. So that's where I grew up. And that's how our culture taught us to be, mm -hmm. so. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, there is a program now with sister school and the kids, they want to make exchange. It can be by Zoom, but after that mm. it can be physically. So they have a better view of the world. And I'm sure so many parents and kids, they want to know Mongolia and they want to know the deepness of your culture. I mean, it's, it's mm. I can see like 
you know when the kids they go all over like you said you want to travel with your daughter this is part of peace culture because nice. if you know the other country you know middle east you know mongolia you know china you know south america you know we are all brothers and sisters so it really opened the mind and the heart and it will bring up a new society of solidarity this is the goal one of the goal of education 3000 so i'm mm. so happy with this interview I, I mm. hope the next trip will be <laughs> going through Mongolia. Yeah, and always welcome. Many things is going to change, many things is going to happen. And we are a team. I mean, you are not alone in Mongolia, I'm not alone in Bolivia. We are all together. And that's yes. so important to know yes. you're right and to know we are together and we are a big family. Thank you. Thank you for uh, letting me join your team. Thank you for having me in this interview. Thank you for <laughs> like letting me introduce my country, even though I didn't speak well, but I just try to pull out the specifics of Mongolia and Mongolian culture and what I want for my kids and what I want for my other kids too, like all the kids in Mongolia. Uh, I want them to be um, good educated, well-behaved, good hurt, good mindset, everything has to be, I um, mean, I wish for them, everything it, really. that I want for my daughter has to be for my, for others too, so for Mongolia. Yeah. Thank you so much. Can we say bye-bye to Nomin? Thank you, no, Nami. Bye-bye. Yes, bye bye. She's, we want to say bye bye. She's to very you. shy. Ah, she's behind. She's <laughs> hiding behind you. You're back. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. You take care. I say hi to your mom too. And thank um, you. I do hope we see each other very soon. And all the I'm best really, for really you, hoping. For your family, for your you all welcome to Mongolia. <laughs> thank you. You take bye. care. Thank you so much.